Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at a Nix OS video when it comes to getting the OS ready for some lightweight gaming. And yes, folks, I haven't forgotten about the Nix OS videos. I've just been busy with some other things in the interim. So what do I mean by simple gaming? So I mean, how are we going to install Steam? How are we going to install Bottles? How are we going to install Lutris, etc.? So, of course, these are some applications to use for gaming and getting Steam and all of that glorious stuff working on Linux. So, what I've chosen to do today is we're going to do this via flat packs. So, I know some folks are going to be like, ah, oh, but why aren't you doing it with Flakes? And why aren't you doing it with Home Manager? And why aren't you doing it with whatever else, or using configuration.nix and all that magical stuff. And while those are extremely powerful and great, applications such as Steam can work really great, but sometimes Steam might do an update. And really, as things have evolved in time, Steam on flat packs is really a pretty good option these days. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to do the following. We're going to enable flat pack support. We're going to enable the flat app store, right? We're going to install Steam, Proton, Lutris, and Bottles. Okay, if you're a seasoned uh, NixOS user, this is, video is probably going to bore you. But uh, I'm going to do everything step by step, uh, and you can just uh, skip ahead if you need to. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to put this on the side over here. And we are going to use good old Firefox. Yeah, I'm just going to make that a little smaller. And can I say skip the step and all of that. So how would you go about installing flat, flat pack support? Well, let's say you're a newish user to NixOS and you're not using uh, any of the tools I've created in previous videos. That's fine. What you would do is you can just type into Google flat pack XMS. and of course the first option here pretty easy to show you what we're going to do here so i'm going to open up my terminal okay and we're going to go to sudo i'm going to use nano uh, why because this video is for beginners so i'm not going to, to use emacs of them etc mix os Configuration of Nix, right? And what are we going to do? Well, we're gonna we're gonna go down the file here, down the list. Really doesn't matter where. Uh, in all honesty, I'm just going to break the spot here, and I'm going to just type in services dot flat pack dot enable that's going to equal true right but oh to save exit and of course sudo nix os rebuild switch and you new to nix os the rebuild switch is basically uh activating that configuration file that we've got so you really wouldn't need to do that again. And it's not busy in the background, pulling down the flat pack files and activating it, doing everything it needs to do in the, in the background. So well there's any additional updates as well. Okay. So that, of course, that portion is done now. So now of course we have to add the flat app repo. Okay. And this is pretty easy. I'm just going to literally copy this link or this command. All right, we're going to go back to the terminal. Okay. And we're just going to paste it. Hit enter. Thank to Kate. And guess what? It's done. Flat pack support has been enabled. As well as now we've uh, added flat up. Flat up store. So this option. Done. Uh, in this case, I'll just uh, erase it. Okay, so what's the first thing we're going to do? Well, we're going to install a couple of applications. So the first application I want to install is Steam. 
So I'm going to click on Steam. And literally, we're going to copy this command here. And we're going to paste it. It's enter. And it's obviously can't find any matches. So we're going to say, do we want to install it? Yes, we do. It's telling us it's going to pull in all of these additional files and dependencies. Do we want to continue with installation? We're going to say yes. And it's going to start putting all of this uh, stuff down. In the meantime, while Steam is doing all of that, we can go back. And it's this up dash QT thing that we want. So we'll get to that after this is finished installing. So I'm going to mark that off for Steam. Okay, yeah, that installation is complete. So pretty much know what we're going to do here. We'll copy this. We'll paste that for Proton. Support, yes. Okay, in the meantime, we're going to look for uh, Lutris, which is a application that allows you to install various uh, games through compatibility layers. Basically makes using something like uh, Wine a lot uh, easier to store. But sometimes you might want to use a different version of wine or you and if you want to do that you can either download that with nutris or you can also use the uh proton up qt app which can add additional options uh amongst the system on other versions of proton you might want to use so with this let's just uh install nutris as well paste that yes yes and finally, of course, we're going to want bottles. And what is bottles? Well, it's an easier front end uh, for wine, which of course allows you to run Windows software. So it's, it's sometimes you might not necessarily get Lutris working correctly for your application or game or whatever, and you might uh, get better uh, work around by using bottles. So it's another great option way of using wine. And we'll just, uh, again, in the meantime, we'll just copy that link while uh, Lutris is almost finished installing. Yeah, so now we'll just paste this for bottles, install it, yes. And let bottles and all of that uh, installed in the background over there. Another really popular app store to install would probably be the Heroix Game Launcher. And this one here basically allows you to access your Epic and GOG games. Basically, for now, one of the things to do is you can install a heroic game launch as well. So I think, you know what, let's add that, even though that wasn't on the initial list. Let's paste that. Install. Okay, now all of those have been installed. Uh, my suggestion would be let us just uh, log out. Let's log back in. And over here, of course, now if we go to games, you'll see if we click on Steam. So it's complaining here about, so we would have to do some additional work here if we want to uh, use uh, some game pads, etc. Right, if you have issues here, you can just follow the link for more details. For now, we're just going to click OK and it's going to just update the Steam runtime. And of course, what you'll do is you'll go ahead and log in uh, to your Steam account and then can just uh, play your games as normal. And um, moving on, of course, and it's Lutris, which also needs to do a bunch of updates as well, especially the first time that you run it. And of course, here, what you would, of course, do is go and uh, install your games. And of course, your different runners here would be, for example, your different versions of Wine. You can install uh, Glorisec Proton, Lutris Editions, Normal Wine, um, etc. And of course, you could just, uh, nice thing about Lutris is you can search the website for installers. So let's say I wanted to search for Among Us. I could just hit enter, right? Which version? Well, let's say it's this version here. And of course, would we be installing this on Itch or Steam Proton? And you would just select the install option there. But this video, of course, isn't about how to use Lutris. So I'm going to carry on. Um, 
Then of course, uh, heroic. This uh, I, has come so far in recent times. This uh, application is absolutely amazing. So again, uh, if you need to log in, you can log into your Prime Gaming, GOG Store, uh, etc. And of course, just have your libraries. And of course, here you would manage your wine versions through the app itself. You could choose not because Eggers Raw Wine or Proton, which of course is uh, has false additional patches on top of it. And you can just choose uh, which version because of course some games might only work with some. So let me close that. Uh, Proton up. Uh, which of course is basically here, so it can either store for Lutris or Steam. It does say it can install additional stuff for Heroic, but it shows it doesn't always work properly. And all that, of course, you're going to do here is you just add a version, and uh, you could add this to Steam. So perhaps you want additional custom versions of um, Proton to be able to be used. So that's why you would use that. And then, of course, Bottles, which is hiding in the utilities and of course the first time we run bottles uh, it basically will need to download a couple of configuration files and settings then it will set in the background and you'll go ahead and create your own bottle so you can think of each bottle as a different virtual windows environment and install your game uh, or windows application uh, from there so folks uh, this is a really quick and easy way of getting a system semi up and running to do some uh, Windows style gaming. Of course, this is, uh, you know, there would be additional stuff you'd have to do if you're an NVIDIA user, assuming that you've configured your NVIDIA drivers. If you're an AMD user, it should pretty much work out the box. And yeah, folks, thank you for watching. If you have comments, leave them below. As always, bye for now.